I still have to find a hijab style that I like. After I have gained weight, I'm just not comfortable in my old scarf style and I'm trying new styles. But for some reason I still don't like it. Assalamu alaikum everyone Welcome to my channel I don't know why I am so happy But maybe I am happy making these kind of videos with my mic on I feel important Today we just finished Ramadan day Let me actually check which Ramadan day it is Because I stopped counting since I haven't fasted for a while Finished Ramadan day 16, two weeks is done. I am getting back to my fasts after taking a volunteer break. I thought, why not tell my non-Muslim friends why we're fasting or what is Ramadan? Like why we follow these rules to some people might sound crazy. And why is it so important and sacred to us? So let's get started. Hi, I am Farzi. I am a Bangladeshi content creator who moved to the US when she was 17 and lived here since then. Haven't moved from New York yet. Yet. I have big dreams and travels a lot. Makes content on everything. And this year, I decided to give my YouTube channel a chance for good and this Ramadan I have been trying to do daily vlogs I have only missed one day due to sickness but alhamdulillah I have been able to continue the vlogs so welcome to my channel and don't forget to subscribe if you have stumbled upon my videos leave a comment if you would like and we will jump right into the video right now so you have seen the word Ramadan popping up in your social media recently, very often, especially your Muslim content creators are talking about Ramadan, using words like suhoor, tahajjud, iftar. So you're wondering what is that, right? So I'm going to share my perspective of Ramadan and, you know, some Islamic facts and uh, why we basically do practice fasting and all those things. Ramadan is the holiest month in the Islamic calendar. It's the ninth month and there are so many barakas during this month. There are other things that's like you deep dive. There's much more benefit to this month. Not because it's the holiest month, but also like there are so many things happening that spiritually, religiously we believe in that's ha that happens during this month. So I decided to put the mic here because I feel like... It looks really weird, but... It... Okay, so according to Yakin Institute, what is Ramadan? Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. A foundational pillar of practicing Islam is fasting during the month of Ramadan. This devotional act is observed by over a billion Muslims worldwide today. Fasting is a major act of worship and it is a powerful means of cultivating God consciousness in the heart and mind. Fasting has both physical and spiritual benefits including purifying the soul, inspiring self-reflection and increasing empathy and good works. So why do I fast? For me, personally, Ramadan is very special. It is the most sacred time of the year i only get 30 days of course you pray you you know make duas you do the other you know necessary things for uh, that's written for our religion to practice but to me ramadan is very special i feel the closeness of my lord and especially during ramadan i feel close to home because I see the community just shine. Everybody is practicing the same thing. And since I grew up in a Muslim country, like everything changed around Ramadan. Our schedule is updated to suit the Ramadan schedule. 
and it brings me so much joy to be closer to my Lord, to be practicing my deen with the people, with my people in a Western space. So, of course, like we fast from sunrise to sunset. Like a lot of the people, when I first started, you know, explaining to folks for a work-related reason, right? So when I go, got into corporate for the first time, and I asked for accommodations and I had to explain what Ramadan is and I would explain to them that we would fast for 30 days and the first reaction that I would get and still get to today's date is 30 days like you don't eat anything for 30 days so that would make me laugh for a momentarily but then I would proceed on explaining that we only eat from sunset to sunrise and don't eat anything from sunrise to sunset and a lot of people in other religions you will see that people do fasting and I have seen people fasting with just liquids fasting with fruits some religion except like you can eat only fruits or like liquids you can't eat like meat or something but I try to give the example of like you know intermittent fasting but this is like the premium version like our one is the premium version because you have to follow the sun <laughs> and you can't really you know change up the rules or anything so like you you can't have gum you can't have water liquids nothing so it's the it's actually the premium version so <laughs> that's that's the way like i kind of explained it at my uh, workspace so fasting is like the main thing during Ramadan as uh, you know like that's that's the main thing like we talk about usually oh what is Ramadan Ramadan is just fasting for 30 days so want to mention the words for opening the fast and then closing the fast so when we wake up right before the sunrise and we actually have a pre-dawn meal now every culture has different type of meals for us i grew up eating a full dinner meal or like a full breakfast uh, during the pre-dawn for the pre-dawn meal and the pre-dawn meal is called suhor or sehri which is in Bengali we call it sehri but it's the same thing and when we open our fast or in uh, like when we break our fast because in some countries like in the in the Asian countries we say break our fast whereas in America we say open our fast we open it with dates and uh, because that's also sunnah sunnah meaning like our prophet peace be upon him uh, practiced uh, that that you know thing so that's why we call it sunnah and we we like to follow his footsteps it's sunnah to open our fast with dates and we call that meal iftar I don't know if anyone else calls it other thing. I just only heard iftar and then suhoor is like sehri and that's that's it. In between like sun sunsets and sunrise, you can of course like eat your meal and all those things, but you just can't eat or drink anything from the sunrise to sunset. So pretty simple. Why do we say that it's the holiest? Why do we say that it's sacred? It's not only about fasting by f like for food, right? It's about discipline it's about patience it's also about behaviors so discipline yes we are disciplining ourselves by you know having like a schedule of uh you know food intake uh, some calls it intermittent fasting but we're also disciplining ourselves abstaining from uh, bad behavior abstaining from anything that's haram in our religion and then women who are menstruating cannot fast so that's why i wasn't fasting the past few days but you shouldn't be fasting if you're breastfeeding or pregnant if you are sick you can google all this information very easily okay i feel like i am going everywhere with this ramadan explanation i'm not really the good ones in explaining matters but i'm just sharing my perspective and my thoughts and my experience of ramadan so why i like ramadan uh, even though it's like you know it's it might sound like draining it might sound like it's so tiring and where do we get the energy to do all these things i like ramadan is because i feel the most closest 
to my religion during this time. Non-Ramadan times, I will struggle to make all the five prayers. And of course, I know that it's on me, but like we we tend to like prioritize our life over, you know, everything, like our life, you know, desires and stuff. We use the excuse of, oh, I couldn't do it for like prayers, for reading Quran, for practicing the deen. But during Ramadan, we just like focus, like mono focus in this one thing. And the focus is how to be better every year. We try, we try new things during Ramadan. What do I mean by new things? So when I like drifted away from my religion during some dark times in my life in the past, I, you know, I didn't even, I didn't even practice Ramadan as well. But then when I started to get back into my deen, every Ramadan, I would tell myself that I would accomplish one goal and it can be a smaller goal and I will take it, like take that goal and I will practice it throughout the year until next Ramadan. So I started like trying, like during the Ramadan, for some reason, it is so easy to pray all the five prayers, including Tarawih. Like we pray a lot during Ramadan. I am like Allah's mercy is just like I, I pray five times on top of that. I pray Tarawih, like we're praying Tahajjud. The, like we're praying like extra extra prayers during Ramadan so one year I made a goal to pray all the five uh, prayers without like any hesitation without me being lazy without me telling myself different excuses not to make a wudu and go you know stand up in that prayer mat so once I achieved that goal for like not 30 days because you know for my period but that entire month, I was like, huh, I can just change my lifestyle. I can't, like, it's it's so easy to fulfill five times prayer if I prioritize it. So that's what I did. For those of you girlies who work in the corporate, I can only talk about the corporate because that's where I work and work in an office setting. Talk to your colleagues or managers. Talk to them about how important it is for you to finish your prayers, daily prayers. And for me, only two to three, when the after the daylight savings, only the two prayers that falls into the office time and the other three just falls when I'm home. But then when the days are shorter, there are three prayers that falls into um, the office time. So I asked them that, you know, me showing up a Muslim hijabi girl in the workspace, I am bringing my identity into this office and my identity is my religion. And my religion requires me to practice five times prayer. Wouldn't you accommodate any other religion if they had to you know, pray during the day while they're in the office. You do. So you have to accommodate me too. And of course, like very respectfully, I explained to them why is it important and how they can accommodate me. They have given the Muslims in our office a space for us to like, a very closed space uh, for us to pray. And I can use it anytime during the day. So I have been using, utilizing that room for when I went into the office during the day to, you know, uh, pray salah. Another thing I also mentioned is Ramadan. I keep talking to them about Ramadan. I have calendar invites that this is the timeline of Ramadan. And this year I took up the courage to ask them if I can work from home because I am fasting from sunrise to sunset, not even with water. Yes, not even with water. <laughs> And it can be very draining on me physically and mentally to come into the office and interact with per- interact with people in person. On top of that, you know, your mouth gets dry and your mouth starts to stink up. So I just really don't want to be in person. I, I am a, I am capable of finishing all these tasks 
at home only for four weeks so they approved it alhamdulillah and i have been working from home this entire ramadan and i'm so happy that i'm able to do that i even had one another co-worker of mine and she asked me like hey girl how are, how is your schedule this ramadan and i was like girl i'm working from home and you should ask too so she got approved too so it is it is getting you know like we're we're getting at it out there what ramadan is and how we're practicing it and how the company can accommodate us another initiative that i worked on this year is asking the office to decorate for ramadan because there's a lot of muslims in our office and i feel like representation not i feel like i mean representation matters right you are decorating for christmas you're decorating for hanukkah why wouldn't you decorate for ramadan and that kind of tells people like how to approach your muslim you know employees or muslim co-workers the acknowledgement it matters there are a few things that like i navigate through uh in the western country that i'm living in for the past i don't even know 13 14 15 years you know that's how i have been making uh, Ramadan have been bringing Ramadan back into my life and utilizing it for different goals this year I set another goal and I am doing it slowly I don't want to share it because I feel like I believe in evil eye and people are gonna be like oh my god and that's gonna give evil eye so I'm not gonna share it right now if I do complete it inshallah I will share with you guys but I am going and I'm pushing through and that is what the month is about like you are straight on your deen you are practicing your religion you're making du'as you are praying tarawih donating so another thing we do is during this month is donate like ramadan is the month that muslims go crazy with the donation because we believe in goodwill we believe in helping others the month kind of teaches you like sabr patience if you have nothing like if you didn't have food the entire day and like entire day no water no food and you feel so tired and you still have to do your daily task and you're just doing it because you're capable of doing it so imagine somebody who is in this situation that is their life not you know not being able to have one meal a day not being able to have the financial resource to live a proper life it's it's about it's about learning it's about teaching children how we're not like not everybody has what you have and how you should treat how you should be humble and how you should treat others just because you know they're not as equal as you are but like you know there's like a lot of like donations happening at the end of ramadan we give something called zakat which is a donation that comes out of your like assets and income like there's a math involved that is kind of like all like you give a certain percentage of all your assets and goals and all those things i'm not gonna go deep into it because that's like math and my dad helps me with that every year it's a lot of like learnings there's a lot of self-awareness a lot of discipline a lot of patience you just you learn about yourself a lot during this month you set yourself on a schedule that you thought was impossible and suddenly you just prioritize your deen and everything falls into place everything becomes so much easier in your life it, it is possible if you just push through it is possible if you prioritize so that's what ramadan is to me like i take it very seriously so that's a lot i just rented a lot about ramadan and i think i just like swept away from the actual thing but i just wanted to share my view my perspective about ramadan this ramadan it is the first time that i have taken such a big goal <laughs> to post every day i have never done this so this is a major goal that i am trying to finish we have 14 15 more days i believe depending on the moon sighting if you do like my videos like comment and don't forget 
to subscribe to this channel. I enjoy making this video and editing these videos and I will see you in the next video inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Mm -hmm.